What is the point of being an elected official if you're not connected to the people in your community? If those people are not working together for you and if you're not working together for them? And Tony is doing that. You know when you see leadership. It's like you just, it's like that aha moment. And Tony gives you that aha moment. You know, I need someone that I can trust to really make a difference. You can just trust that he's going to do the right thing, even if it's not popular to a lot of people, but it's the right thing to do. You can tell that he really cares for the community. He wants to make this a better place. I believe every word he says. I can tell that he believes what he says. I've seen him, you know, canvassing and working in Richmond. And I've seen him, you know, at house parties in Berkeley. And he's the same guy. He's always the same guy. The first time I met Tony, he appeared to me to be somebody who was just going to fly in and fly out of this meeting. But I stopped him to ask him something about a Prop 13 reform effort that we're involved in. And he really stopped and talked to me about it and he really listened and he actually said you know I learned something in this conversation and I'm gonna take that back and think about what that means and how we can work on this issue together. I do think Tony has the temperament, uh, the maturity, you know, and the attitude to really reach across the aisle. We'll have a thoughtful legislator who I think will probably be an important legislator because I think he will, he does have the skills to and the experience to rather quickly uh, develop into a leader. He'd rather bring people together to have you know, of, you know, varying ideas to figure out a way in which they can come together and compromise and come up with a solution than just simply to just push his agenda. I think it's because he listens so much to other people. He knows what the issues are. He knows what the solutions might be because he's been hearing that from the community. Because of his um, ability to bring people together to solve problems. Um, Tony is the one person who's running for this office, that's held office at a local government level. And I think you can really see his ability to work with other people and to get things done in a legislative fashion, which I think is really critical to the people that we send to Sacramento. If you want real representation in California government, if you really want to see somebody who is from the community and has fought for the community for years and will continue fighting for the community, if you want to see diversity in public office, and if you want to be part of a real change, please join us in helping Tony Thurman become State Assembly Rep for District 15. And so if you have one hour a week that you can make phone calls, knock on doors, you know, come to a forum, you're going to make a difference.